Hey yo GOAT format players, it's Skill Brown Magician here and I'm back with Strike Gate Ninjas. This is a deck profile that I've actually been keeping pretty close to my chest for a while now. I really like this deck, it's so much fun to play and I'm really excited to show you my own personal take on a Strike Ninja deck. Alright so Strike Ninja, if you don't know his effect, it's a quick play effect so it means it can be activated either during your turn or your opponent's turn and you banish two dark monsters from your graveyard and he gets banished until the end phase so he can dodge things and he plays in to this deck so well and he just makes a reasoning gate deck so much more consistent and I'll explain um, what I mean by that so obviously I just want to abuse his effect so you combine strike ninja's effect with defusion's effect and then you just bring back the best dark attribute monsters in GOAT format in the names of Dark Magician of Chaos. Get a spell back again. You can bring back Fusilier for 2800 beat stick. Obviously we have Jinzo. I have Blowback Dragon in this deck and I also have Marionette. So this deck has a lot of spicy dark attribute monsters. We cheat them out using Reasoning Gate. And then we have Strike Ninja just there for this like crazy consistency just across the entire deck with all the cards that it runs. It's super nice. So this is the this is what it looks like. Um, and man, let me get into the card by card rationale, and then I'll talk about the stratagems in the second half where I talk about specific interactions in the deck and just more of the um, just more of the combinations. So. I really like this lineup because it feels really consistent when you play. You just have 10 monsters, and six of them are actually Norman, normal summonable. So you can bring out Strike Ninja and Fusilier both right away. Fusilier will obviously be cut in half. He'll be down to 1400, but we use him with other cards in the deck anyways. So let me explain the cards. I have uh, Demok, obviously, because it's a Reasoning Gate deck. We have triple copies of Fusilier Dragon because we're running triple scape, or sorry, we're running triple Metamorphosis to combo off and just go into King Dragoon. We have Jinzo, super powerful, being able to just summon this back multiple times using Defusion if he if he gets banished off of Strike Ninja's effect, or maybe it's banished with the Chaos Sorcerer or a BLS. So you could just bring him back and then just turn off traps and i actually have a replay um where i i do exactly that blowback dragon it's another level six but he has such a good effect once per turn target a one card your opponent controls toss a coin three times and destroy that target if at least two of the results are heads so you have a 50 50 chance don't ask me for the math or exactly how it calculates out but basically um you have a 50 50 chance that you're going to blow something up on their side of the field. And what's tricky about it is that it forces your opponent to chain to it. Um, otherwise, they won't be able to activate it in response. So if you target a back row and they don't chain to it, if you get two out of three heads, you just can pop it and they can't activate it. So that's a really nice effect. And being able to bring him back with defusion, use his effect again, clear more of their cards, really nice. Magical Marionette is super spicy. It's a level 5. It's a dark monster with 2,000 attack, and it, his effect is perfect for Reasoning Gate decks. Each time a spell card is activated, place a spell counter on this card when that spell card resolves. This card gains 200 attack for each spell counter on it. You can remove two spell counters from this card, then target one monster on the field and destroy that target. So, Magical Marionette can destroy monsters on the field as long as you have two spell counters on the card. What's really nice is that it does not specify that this is a once per turn effect. So you can use this multiple times in your turn to clear one, two, three monsters depending on how many uh, spell cards you're able to activate and give counters for. So this card's really nice and it's a level five allowing us to access level five um, fusions with Metamorphosis. We're playing Triple Strike Ninja because 
He just adds to the consistency of the deck. He's a really strong normal summon with 1700 attack and his effect, it just plays perfectly in this deck because literally, I guess I'll just say it now, um, but I'll mention more of it in the stratagems. Every fusion monster that we metamorphosis into is dark attribute too. So Strike Ninja is just dodging so many effects, coming back during the end phase, setting you up for future plays, and he's able to attack for 1700, which is pretty decent. So even on his own, he's a solid attack. We play one copy of Snatch Steel. We have two copies of Rota because you're trying to thin the monster lineup of Strike Ninja as much as possible before you activate your reasoning and your monster gates. We play one copy of Brain Control. It's really nice uh, in decks like this just because you can use it for several things like tributing off um, for either of our single tribute uh, dark monsters. We can also use it for fodder for Fusilier and Demok, of course, if we have another monster on our field. But Brain Control, it's even really nice with Dimension Fusion 2 for stealing one of your opponent's monsters that they special summoned from their banish pile. Obviously, we're playing Triple Reasoning, Triple Monster Gate. We have the one copy of Premature, which is really nice in this deck because summoning uh, monsters from your graveyard or from the banish pile, just going for your OTKs, just going for your combos. We have Triple Scapegoat to help bias time, and then also Triple Metamorphosis. Like I mentioned, Literally all of the Metamorphosis targets are Darks, so it's just adding to our deck even more. Then we have Triple Dimension Fusion. This card's just so busted, and we can bring back such like big boards with several threats that they have to answer that usually they just don't have the resources or they don't have the cards to overcome our board. If you bring back Jinzo, a Fusilier, and then you have like Demok, or you have like a Strike Ninja, th that's just so many things that they have to answer next turn on top of whatever you're using um, Dark Magician of Chaos to get. So if you get like Lightning Vortex, you clear their field. Th there's just so many com combos. I'm, I'm excited about this deck. Le let me focus on the cards. So Triple Dimension Fusion, something to note, you can't bring back your Banished Off uh, fusion targets because they weren't properly uh, fusion summoned so they would not be eligible targets for dimension fusion but it's still they're good targets for strike ninja we have double giant trunade to clear their back row and to pair off with premature burial one copy of heavy we have pot graceful charity card destruction so good in this deck dumping off our uh dumping off our hands when we have a lot of dark monsters is just a really good idea in this deck. Lightning Vortex to clear whatever they bring back with Dimension Fusion and just to pitch your own Dark Monsters to Grave. Then we play a small trap lineup, Mirror Force, Ring of Destruction, and I've really been liking Reckless Greed in this deck because usually you just need those one or two more cards and then it doesn't. you don't even need uh, a follow-up because usually when you're going into Reckless Greed, hopefully you have demock in play or in a position where you can get you know a follow-up card with demock instead of worrying about your draw phases so reckless greed it's just really nice to just really draw further into your deck and get all the combo pieces you need for the sideboard i just had a kind of a um smoke screen side kind of not really just going into a more traditional build um i i really just threw this together so feel free to change it all right, so I hope you guys have been liking this. Let me know in the comments below um, if you've ever had your take on Strike Ninja and what does your take of Strike Ninja look like? Are you playing um, a Reasoning Gate build like me? Are you playing more of a normal summon, Hades, Jinzo, uh, like what is it, DD Scout plane type of build? Let me know in, your, in the comments. Okay, so Strike Ninja, I just want to say this card is so good in the deck really just fulfills so many things in the deck so first off he attacks for 1700 and he has 1200 defense so he can't be suited plus his effect is so good because when you attack in you can dodge effects by banishing your monsters and then he'll just 
a void like a mirror force. And then he's also going to be banishing your darks and setting up your defusion plays. So he just makes the deck really consistent because he survives. Because what's important is he can survive for a turn, banish off two of your two of your monsters in your graveyard, and then guess what? You have Monster Gate um, fodder, right? Because he can survive, and then not only that, he makes your defusions way more live in this deck, which is really really nice. Because there's times where you play traditional um, Reasoning Gate and defusion, it's just not live all the time. And really, just in this deck, you'll see like. It, it has a nice flow and a nice consistency to it. And, you know, just the, the lineup that we're playing, we actually have a lot of stalls in Scapegoat and then also in King Dragoon. Because when you metamorphosis a Fusilier, even that will take a couple of turns for them to answer because it can't be targeted. Um, yeah, so Strike Ninja just does so much for this deck and just does so much for the consistency in the deck. And I really like him at triple copies because seeing him in your opening hand is actually a good thing because you know that you have one less Strike Ninja in your Reasoning and Monster Gate lineup to hit. And plus, being able to just normal summon him is not bad either. Uh, like I said, yeah, he survives long enough to be Monster Gate fodder, which is super great. You just wrote a first strike ASAP to thin your monster lineup. So that way your monster gates and your reasonings are more effective and you're pulling out more of your dark tribute monsters instead of your level fours, you know? And then, man, Demok and Blowback Dragon with Defusion, it's just stupid good because you're being able to use Demok's effect multiple times obviously super busted because you can pull back any spell that fits the context of the board at the time. So I really like how versatile Demok is and because it's a monster gate and reasoning deck, you're milling all of these spells. So you usually have access to those combo pieces that you need and just defusion, Demok, defusion, blowback dragon, being able to pop or target another card and then you know, Poppet is just so strong in this deck. Um, oh yeah, so Marionette, I really like this card because you can pop set monsters. It does not specify whether it needs to be face up or face down. So you can just take out their set monsters. You can take out those pesky monsters that they bring back with defusion, right? So you have so many ways of clearing monsters and this card can really stack up on spell counters because it's a reasoning gate deck. You're using spells. And if you have Demok in play, you're getting more spells back. It could really just combo off. It gets ridiculous. Brain control is crazy in this deck. Man, I love brain control in general as a card. And it works so well in Reasoning Gate. And it works especially well in this deck. Because you can use it for tribute summons. Like you could tribute off their monster for a Jinzo. You could tribute off their monster for a blowback dragon. Right? You can also use it for Monster Gate. You can use it for Metamorphosis. You could take their BLS, banish something, then meta it off into a, um, what is it called? A Gatling Dragon. You could just do crazy things. And also just stealing their monsters to go for game shots is really nice too. So this is something I mentioned in the card by card in the profile. Um, you meta Fusilier for King Dragoon and you have a Darkened Graveyard. Because you have Fusilier is now engraved because you attributed it off using Metamorphosis. And now you have a Dark on the field that can't be targeted. 2400 attack. And it's going to take your opponent a couple turns to answer this problem alone. And now you're setting up um, your graveyard. Also, you Metamorphosis, your escape goat tokens, you go into Thousand Eyes Restrict. Guess what? He's Dark. You metamorphosis your marionette and you go into Balter. He's a dark. Fiend Skull Dragons, a dark. Dark Blade, dark. Reaper on the Nightmare, dark. Gatling Dragon, dark. Literally every metamorphosis target that you that you go into, they're all dark attribute, which just it makes this deck flow so nicely and it really increases your Strike Ninja's survivability. The only thing is, you just can't special summon those. Uh, fusion monsters with defusion since they were not properly fusion summoned but man you guys this deck is so much fun 
Um, I've been playing it for a while now, and I really love the combos that you can pull off with it. And it's so oppressive just being able to go into defusion several times and just you keep bringing back your big threats. You have your Jinzo, you have your Marionette, you have Demok, obviously, bringing back Fusilier for a 2800 attack, and then just having Strike Ninja making all of this and expediting that process. This deck is so much fun. I can't wait to show you guys the replays. I really hope you guys check it out. And obviously, the, the dueling book um, download link will be in the description, so you can always download my profiles there. Man, check it out, you guys. This deck's really fun, and I'm actually really proud of the Strike Ninja build. So, hope you guys enjoy. Take care, and I'll see you in the replays. Peace, guys.